Kawhi Leonard's a future Hall of Famer, a two-time NBA champion and finals MVP, as well as a multiple NBA all-defensive team member. Leonard epitomizes that an intelligent game and court sense gives the best results. Due to his rather old-school vibe and laser-focused sensibility, Leonard's received many opinions from NBA legends. Hear what the NBA legends think of Kawhi Leonard. Number 10. Shaquille O'Neal TNT analyst and Hall of Famer Shaquille O'Neal was one of the most dominant players in the NBA back in his day. But apart from using just his physical frame to own the game, Shaq relied a lot on his court instincts as well. During the halftime of a Clippers game against the Nets back in February 2021, Shaq said this about Kawhi. I wish I was a kid right now and I would watch a guy like Kawhi, because he plays at his own pace. O'Neal said at halftime of the Nets Clippers game, everybody's not going to be able to jump high like LeBron or do the things that D. Wade did. But if you play at your own pace and play your own game, you can do this. So all the young kids out there that are watching all the superstars, you need to watch this guy. It seems that Shaq is most impressed by Leonard's ability to be effective despite not being the most athletic. Number 9. Vince Carter Now speaking of athletic abilities, one guy known for having a lot of it back in the day was Vince Carter. A multiple-time All-Star and Slam Dunk Contest champion, Carter was well known during his time as a franchise player for the Toronto Raptors as well as the then New Jersey Nets. On ESPN's Get Up back in August of 2020, Carter elaborated what it took for Kawhi to be in the same discussion as players like LeBron James and Kobe Bryant. He said, A third championship for Kawhi will just bump him up to that next level of the upper echelon of basketball players in the history of the game. I'm not going to say the greatest, we know there's a lot of guys. There's three guys right now in that conversation, and I think if LeBron wins, he bumps himself up to that next level. But Kawhi now puts himself in the conversation of one of the greatest players in our league's history because of what he can accomplish, particularly if he wins the NBA Finals MVP as well. MJ, Kobe, and I think LeBron are right there. I still think MJ is the greatest, and Kobe, there's the debate that could toss with, it depends on what week you're talking about this. And if LeBron wins another one, you put him right there in that conversation. One step closer, let me say. And now Kawhi, you win three championships, three MVPs, he's now a conversation piece as well. High words of praise from another player who was also once a star for the Raptors. Number 8. Magic Johnson Despite resigning as president of basketball operations for the Los Angeles Lakers back in April of 2019, Magic Johnson is still, of course, kept up to date with basketball happenings in LA. That same year when Kawhi Leonard went from being a Raptor to a member of the LA Clippers, Johnson had this to say, LA has just become the king of basketball with the Lakers adding KD, Cousins, Danny Green, JaVale McGee, and KCP, and Kawhi Leonard and Paul George joining the Clippers. It's going to be awesome to watch NBA basketball in LA this season. It seems that he felt the claw and PG-13 could certainly be a matchup for Braun and the Lakers. Number 7. Michael Jordan Although his airness rarely makes public statements regarding exactly what he thinks of players, Kawhi may just have the merits to warrant an exception. Back in 2017, Jordan held a summer basketball camp called Jordan's Flight School. Talking to his students, Jordan said that Leonard, who's a client of his brand, is the best two-way player in the game right now, and that he's probably the best in the game. Those strong statements from MJ are definitely to be taken into account when ranking Kawhi among the greatest to have ever played basketball. Number 6. Jerry West Back in 2019, controversy brewed when a man named Johnny Wilkes, who claimed to be close with Kawhi's family, sued West and the Clippers organization for $2.5 million, saying that he's owed that amount of money for helping the Clippers sign the star. Kawhi himself said that Wilkes had nothing to do with him signing with the Clippers. As for Jerry West, a longtime beloved figure in LA, he had this to say via a representative. I'm not aware of any lawsuit being filed against me, and I deny engaging in any improper conduct in connection with the signing of Kawhi Leonard. A voicemail allegedly from West was part of the lawsuit, and TMZ obtained the audio. The voicemail mentioned Sam Watson, who supposedly helped Wilkes with recruiting Leonard to the Clippers. The voicemail from West says, Hey there, this is Jerry calling. I really want to thank you for trying to help. I heard this morning that everyone in the Lakers camp thinks they're going to get him. I just find that hard to believe he would want to go to that show, where he wouldn't even be, wouldn't even get his name in the paper. And he wouldn't be the face of the franchise, that's for sure. He might be the best player on the team, but hope things are well and again, I really, really appreciate everything you've done. I'll keep you apprised of what's going on, but I do want to get together with you privately and would love to take you to dinner, and even Sam if he's around, so I can at least pay my respects to you guys for being so generous and helpful. Take care. Talk to you sometime soon. Bye bye. Looks like no amount of money was promised there. What do you guys think? Number 5. Reggie Miller 
Back in his playing days, Reggie Miller was known for scoring buckets and bunches. He was the type of guy to get red hot and just get the job done for his team. Back in the 2019 playoffs, he had the same impression of Kawhi Leonard, who was leading the Toronto Raptors in the postseason. Speaking about their series with the Milwaukee Bucks, heading into Game 4 with the Bucks ahead in the series 2-1, Miller had this to say about Kawhi. Right now, Kawhi Leonard, four straight 30-point games with the Raptors. The Raptors, you know, playoff record. He's a machine right now. Number 4. Charles Barkley The Hall of Fame analyst who was known as the Round Mound of Rebound is a huge fan of Kawhi. Admiring his talents, Charles Barkley had this to say about Kawhi prior to the start of the 2019 season. I don't hesitate. At this point, Kawhi's a better player than LeBron. He does everything better. He's a better defender, he's a better scorer, he's better at imposing his will on the game. You just saw him will a good Toronto team to a championship, that's pretty impressive. Although many could disagree with Barkley's comments, it does not diminish the fact that Charles is certainly deeply impressed with Leonard's repertoire. Is Kawhi Leonard's persona also an attribute to how he plays? Do you think that Kawhi may just be psychologically toying with his opponents to keep them off guard? Tell us your answers in the comment section below. Number 3. Scotty Pippen one of the few players to have had his number retired by the Chicago Bulls, Scottie Pippen was one bad man on the court in his playing days. The wingman could play intense on the court and also be a juggernaut on offense and take over from there. These attributes have got people comparing him to the claw, and it's honestly easy to see why. Pippen himself noticed the vibes from the public and pointed it out himself on Twitter, saying, Getting a lot of cues about Kawhi Leonard, who's off to a fast start tonight. No doubt he's one of the best players in the game. He then tweeted afterward, A lot of people compare Kawhi to me and it makes sense. He's always been a lead on D and now he's killing it offensively. Dominant all round. Looks like Pip doesn't mind if Kawhi's game reminds people of himself. As of course they're both basketball elite. Number 2. James Worthy The Lakers legend definitely knows a great player when he sees one. Having won a college title with Michael Jordan as his teammate, and having won three NBA rings playing alongside the likes of Magic Johnson and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Worthy's experience offers him rare insight in how he analyzes a player. Speaking on the radio program, The Petros and Money Show, Worthy touched on Kawhi and what he sees from him, saying, I wouldn't want to say he has the crown yet, but there's no question, Kawhi to me is a mixture of Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. When Kawhi sees a spot, he can't be denied to getting to that spot. A mixture of MJ and Kobe seems like a very strong statement. It's most likely official. James Worthy is a Kawhi Leonard fan. Number 1. Isaiah Thomas After the Kawhi-led LA Clippers raced off to a 3-1 season start, analyst and Detroit Pistons great Isaiah Thomas had this to say about Leonard's new style of play. On NBA TV, Thomas said, Kawhi's found a new way to kill you in 5 minutes, Thomas declared. Some players, they try to kill you through 40-48 to 48 minutes. Kawhi's found a way to look at the game and say, okay, these are the five minutes where I'm just going to slice you up, and it's boom, 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 boom. Thomas recalled the opening night for the Clippers when they took on the Lakers, wherein Kawhi made up for his limitation in minutes with a spurt of what he can do, scoring 30 minutes and having six rebounds and five assists. Thomas noted he had a quiet 30, but it was four or five minutes where he just seemed like he was everywhere doing everything, and that's all that was needed to be done. Thomas himself was known to accomplish much in a short period of time, including that moment in Game 6 of the 1988 NBA Finals against the Lakers, wherein he scored 25 points in just the third quarter. Is Kawhi really the best two-way player in this era? Would he have been just as successful on both ends of the floor if he played in MJ's time? Whatever your thoughts on those questions, leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more NBA content.